IBM membuka peluang Indonesia ikut mengadopsi teknologi kuantum computing atau komputer kuantum. Bukan tanpa alasan, Indonesia dinilai memiliki potensi besar untuk merevolusi berbagai sektor industri, serta meningkatkan daya saing teknologi dan inovasi. Hal tersebut dikatakan oleh Vice President for Quantum Crowd and Market Development IBM Japan, Joseph S. Bros, saat wawancara dengan Kompas TV di Jepang beberapa waktu lalu. Quantum computing really is handling information using the laws of quantum mechanics. It's a new way of computation that uh, promises to bring tremendous capability to uh, industries and to scientific communities as a brand new computational tool. The importance of quantum computing is it, is, uh, it promises to allow us to solve problems that currently cannot be solved even by the largest supercomputers available. So quantum computing really provides uh, a tool and a capability uh, that we feel is going to uh, really revolutionize several different areas of computation in industry and for the scientific community. So there are a number of things that IBM has done to make quantum computing accessible. Uh, first, we were the first company in the cloud in 2016, which allowed our systems to be available to users. We have an open system, and then we have a system where paid subscribers can pay to um, access our fleet of quantum computers. Another thing that we've been doing is investing a tremendous amount of time, effort, and money in uh, the development of educational resources in order to train people on how to use a quantum computer. We provide educational assets and other enabling assets so that uh, users can learn very quickly how to uh, use a quantum computer and then uh, through the cloud access the fleet so they can put their problems and map their problems onto our quantum computing system. A third area is we work very closely with several governments. So when we bring a quantum computer to a specific region. We work with the region and the local, state, and national governments to look at all four elements of the ecosystem. We look at not only the access, but we help with research and development. We help with the uh, workforce development, and we engage industry in order to understand what are the best use cases for quantum computing that will allow them to not only access the computer, but to find utility in uh, that utilization. Well, I would recommend, uh, first of all, uh, Indonesia has uh, already an excellent high performance computing program. I have spoken with a, a number of the experts in Indonesia about quantum computing and about their high performance computing. So really Indonesia already has quite a head start to uh, enter into quantum computing and the leadership in Indonesia is already engaged in trying to create and foster this environment. A couple of things that Indonesia I know is doing is training the workforce for quantum computing. There's education, workshops, seminars, coursework. In ASEAN in overall, there's something like uh, you know, 5,000 students that have uh, taken courses uh, online in Kiskit. Um, so encouraging the development of a workforce Another thing Indonesia can do is to acquire a system and bring that system to Indonesia, perhaps in concert with other ASEAN countries, 
uh, in order to have an aggregated uh, capability that all the users could access that would be regional and to foster that regional ecosystem in, uh, in, in Indonesia and in Southeast Asia. You know, specifically, we've been working quite a bit in the, in, um, with, with Singapore. We have a quantum innovation center uh, based in Singapore. And uh, we use uh, that primarily as a, a portal of access for many users in Indonesia. But we would, we would welcome um, discussions with the leaders in Indonesia and um, uh, you know, ongoing discussions with uh, the high performance compute community in Indonesia in order to continue to develop uh, quantum computing in Indonesia. Great, thank you so much. You're welcome.